Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This video is about exercise 4.3 from quadratic equations. First main has been deleted for the examination 2022. Um, and second main is covering the first main itself. So let us start with the second main. Find the roots of quadratic equations given in question 1. So the first one, by applying quadratic formula. So what is quadratic formula? It is x is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is a quadratic formula. Now let us find out what is a and what is b and what is c and substitute in the equation uh, uh, formula. So a is equal to 2, b is minus 7 and c is 3. So b is minus 7 and c is 3. So x will be equal to minus of minus 7 plus or minus square root of minus 7 whole square minus 4 into a into c is 3 divided by 2 into 2. Let us simplify this. x is equal to minus 2 minus plus 7 plus r minus square root of root 7 whole square is nothing but plus 49 minus and if you multiply 4, 2, 3, we will get 24 divided by 4. Now we will simplify this still. 7 plus r minus square root of 49 minus 24 is 25 by 4. Now, this will be equal to x is equal to 7 plus r minus square root of 25 is 5 divided by 4. So, x will be equal to 7 plus 5 by 4 or x is equal to 7 minus 5 by 4. So, x is equal to 7 plus 5 is 12 by 4 that is equal to 3. So, this is one root. Or x is equal to 7 minus 5 by 4 is nothing but 2 by 4. So it is 1 by 2. Therefore x is equal to 3 or 1 by 2. These are the two roots of given equation. Let us start with the second one. It is 2x squared plus x minus 4 equal to 0. And we have the formula. We will write down the formula so that it becomes easy for us. So it is x is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now what is a here? a is 2, b is 1 and c is minus 4. Let us substitute these values in the formula. So x will be equal to minus 1 plus r minus square root of 1 square minus 4 into 2 into minus 4 divided by 2a. So 2 into 2. So x will be equal to minus 1 plus r minus square root of 1 square is 1 plus minus into minus plus. And uh, 4, 4 are 16, 16 2s are 32. So it is 32 divided by 4. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1 plus r minus square root of 33 divided by 4. And the roots of this quadratic equation are x is equal to minus 1 plus r minus, no, not plus r minus, let me take, plus root 33 by 4. Or x is equal to minus 1 minus root 33 by 4. So these are the roots of the given quadratic equation. Let us go for the third one. Uh, in this a is equal to 4. B is 4 root 3 and c is plus 3. <coughs> we will substitute these things in the formula. x is equal to <coughs> minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. 
So x is equal to minus 4 root 3 plus or minus square root of 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 into 4 into 3 divided by 2a. So 2 into 4. Now x will be equal to minus 4 root 3 plus or minus square root of. Now we will take up this part. 4 root 3 whole square. 4 root 3 whole square is 4 square into root 3 whole square. 4 square is 16. Root 3 whole square is 3. So that is equal to 48. So this is 48. And if you multiply this 4 into 4 into 3, that will also give us 48 divided by 8. Now, we have minus 4 root 3 plus or minus root of 0 equal divided by 8. And that will be equal to x is equal to minus 4 root 3 divided by 8. And if you simplify, 2 2s are, 2 4s are. Uh, sorry, it is uh, 4 1s are. We can do directly 4 1s are, 4 2s are. x is equal to minus root 3 by 2. And it should have 2 uh, uh, roots. Therefore, x is equal to minus root 3 by 2 and x is equal to minus root 3 by 2. The roots are same. Yes. So, this is about the third one and in the next exercise we will come to know that is 4.4 we will come to know if the roots are same then what uh, the quadratic equation is or when the roots will be same. So, we will understand that in the next 4.4 exercise in my next video. Now, this is uh, the fourth one 2x square plus x minus uh, plus 4 equal to 0. So, this will be, um, we will write down what is A and what is B and what is C. A is equal to 2, B is equal to 1 and C is equal to 4. We will substitute these things in the equation, no formula, x is equal to minus B plus R minus square root of B square minus 4AC divided by 2a. So, x is equal to minus 1 plus r minus square root of 1 square minus 4 into 2 into 4 divided by 2 into 2. So, x is equal to minus 1 plus r minus square root of 1 minus and if you multiply these things uh, 4 into 4 into 2 we will get 32 divided by 4. So, the roots are like this. x is equal to minus 1 plus r minus square root of minus 31 by 4. This is ruled out because uh, inside the square root we have minus. So, minus 31. So, it does not, the roots, the roots do not exist in this. Roots do not exist. Since we have here minus 31 which is inside the square root so which is not considered. So this is the roots are this is ruled out. Next one find the roots of the following equation that is x minus 1 uh, 1 by x wherein x is not equal to 0. So if x becomes 0 in this place then it will be 1 by uh, this one, uh, 1 by 0, so which is not valid. Uh, they have given clearly x is not equal to 0. Okay, That does not matter for us. We have to do uh, this. So, what we will do, we will take the LCM in this case. It will be x is the LCM and we will have x square minus 1 equal to 3. And if we cross multiply this, we will get x square minus 1 is equal to 3x. We will shift this 3x to the left hand side. We will get x square minus 3x minus 1 equal to 0. And now finding the uh, this one uh, roots for this we can split the middle term or we can use the formula. 
any uh, this method can be used okay so what i have used i will use uh, this formula x is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2b now what is a a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 3 c is equal to minus 1 so these are the values of a b c from this equation now we will substitute these things we will get minus of minus 3 plus r minus square root of minus 3 whole square minus 4 into 1 into minus 1 divided by 2 into 1 and after simplifying this this will be minus into minus plus 3 plus r minus square root of minus 3 whole square is 9 minus into minus plus so plus 4 divided by 2. And after simplifying, we will get x is equal to 3 plus r minus square root of 13 divided by 2. Therefore, the roots are, what are the roots? x is equal to 3 plus root 13 by 2 or x is equal to 3 minus root 13 by 2. So, these are the two roots of the given equation. Fine. We will go for the next one. In the third main, second one. <coughs> now, again, in this case, we have to take the LCM. This is 1 by 1x one plus 4 minus 1 by x minus 7 equal to 11 by 30. Wherein x is not equal to minus 4 and 7. Yes, if we substitute here minus 4. Uh, in this case, it will be minus 4 plus 4 which is 0, 1 by 0. And if you take 7, then this becomes 7 minus 7, 0. So, they have clearly given x is not equal to these two values. Okay. We will take the LCM. LCM. If you take LCM, then what happens? x plus 4 into x minus 7 is the LCM. So, here to the numerator side, x minus 7 minus x plus 4 equal to 11 by 30. Okay. Now what we will do? We will uh, uh, simplify the numerator. It will be x minus 7 minus x minus 4 divided by uh, if we multiply here the denominator we will get x square minus 7x plus 4x minus 28 is equal to 11 by 30. Now plus x and minus x will get cancelled. Minus 4 minus uh, 7 will be equal to minus 11 divided by x square and if we simplify this minus 7x plus 4x we get x square minus 3x minus 28 equal to 11 by 30. And 11 and 11 we can cancel left hand and right hand side. So, and after cross multiplication, we will get x square minus 3x minus 28 is equal to minus 30. So, this we multiply and we have here minus 1. So, minus 30. Shifting minus 30 to the left side, we will get x square minus 3x minus 28 plus 30 equal to 0. x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Again, we can do it in two ways that is <clears throat> either we can take the formula and find out or split the middle term and then do it it is left to our choice however we are doing i am taking a is equal to what one or i'll write here a is equal to one b is equal to minus three and c is equal to two from the equation that we have got and now what we'll do we will substitute these things in the formula that is x is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So x is equal to substituting these values a, b and c. It is minus of minus 3 plus r minus square root of minus 3 whole square minus 4 into a is 1 and c is 2 divided by 2a. So 2 into a is 1. So, x is equal to 9 plus r minus square root of 9 minus 8 divided by 2. 
So x is equal to 9 plus r minus square root of 1 by 2. And now square root of 1 is nothing but 1. So x is equal to, sorry this is not 9 here, it is 3, 3. So this will be here, this is 3. Again this is 3 here. Yes, now if we simplify this x plus 1 by 2 or x is equal to uh, 3 plus 1 by 2, this is then 3 minus 1 by 2. So x is equal to 4 by 2. So 2 ones are 2, 2 is are. x is equal to 2 is one of the rules or x is equal to 2 by 2 or x is equal to 1. So these are the two roots of the equation. <coughs> now we will go for the next one. Fourth one, sum of the reciprocals of Rahman's ages in years, three years ago and five years from now is 1 by 3. Find his present age. So, we need to find out his present age. Okay, we will start. <coughs> Let us take uh, Rahman's present age as x. Okay, let present age of Rahman. Or Rahman's present age. Let Rahman's present age be equal to x years. Fine. Now what they have given? Uh, three years ago, what is his age? Three years ago. Age. Three years ago. Yeah, this is obviously Rahman's age itself. So, his age 3 years ago that is equal to x present is x. 3 years ago means x minus 3 years. His age will be x minus 3 years. Now, his age after 5 years. After 5 years. From now. So, his age present age is x. And from now 5 years means x plus 5 years. Now reciprocals of these two ages <coughs> will be equal to, they have given clearly 1 by 3. So let us substitute that. It is 1 by x minus 3 plus 1 by x plus 5 is equal to 1 by 3. We will take, <coughs> we'll take the uh, this one LCM so it will be x x minus 3 into x plus 5 and we will have in the numerator x plus 5 plus x minus 3 equal to 1 by 3. Let us simplify these things so we will have x plus 5 plus x minus 3 divided by and if we multiply the denominator, we will get x square plus 5x minus 3x minus 15 is equal to 1 by 3. Now, numerator will have 2x, x plus x, 2x and then 5 minus 3 minus 2 will be equal to um, and we will multiply that, we will cross multiply this here into 3 will be equal to x square and this 5x minus 3x it will be plus 2x minus 15. We'll multiply this the left side will get 6x minus 6 equal to x square plus 2x minus 15. We'll shift the left hand side to the right hand side so what we are going to get we will get x square plus 2x minus 15 then this will become minus, plus 6 will become minus 6 and plus x equal to 0. So x square minus uh, plus 2x and minus 6x it will be equal to minus 4x minus 15 and plus 6 that will be equal to um, it is, sorry, this is, uh, this is plus, I'm sorry, this is 5 minus 3 is plus, and so this is plus, and then this will become, 
minus. So minus 15 and minus 6 that will be equal to minus 21. Now we have what is A here? A is equal to 1 and B is equal to minus 4. C is equal to minus 21. We can split the middle term and do it or we can use the formula. Anyway, uh, any method is fine. So x is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So x is equal to minus b is minus of minus 4 plus r minus square root of minus 4 whole square minus 4 into a is 1 b is minus 21 divided by 2a that is x is equal to minus into minus plus 4 plus r minus square root of 16 plus 8 divided by 2. And uh, uh, sorry this is not 8 this is 21 into 4 so it will be plus 84. Now x is equal to 4 plus r minus square root of 100 divided by 2. That implies x is equal to 4 plus 10 by 2 or x is equal to 4 minus, yeah, I'll write down here, x is equal to, x is equal to 4 minus 10 by 2. So, this will be equal to minus 6 by 2 which is ruled out. The age cannot be negative, it is minus 3 age cannot be negative. Therefore, uh, Rahman's present age will be 14 by 2. So, Rahman's present age is 7 years. We have taken x as uh, the present uh, age. So, x is equal to 7 years. Present age of Rahman, x years. So, present age is uh, 7 years. Now, we will go for the next one, fifth one. In a class test, the sum of Shefari's uh, marks in mathematics and English is 30. Had she got 2 marks more in mathematics and 3 marks less in English, the product of their marks would have been 210. So, product would have been 210. Find her marks in 2 subjects. Fine, we will find out the marks in 2 subjects. We will take let <coughs> math marks be x. Okay. Now, then what happened to English marks? Therefore, English marks will be equal to 30 minus x. Because they have given math marks plus English marks is equal to 30. Now, English marks is equal to 30 minus math marks. So, math we have taken x. So, it will be 30 minus x, right? Okay. So, now what we are, what they have given? Uh, they have given the condition that if 2 marks more, she had got 2 marks more in math. So, if 2 marks more in math, Then how do we write that? It will become x plus 2, right? 2 marks more in math. And now 3 marks less in English. 3 marks less in English. So that will be equal to, you can see here, 30 minus x minus 3. So, that will be equal to 27 minus x. So, this is English marks. It is 3 marks less. Okay. And now, what we have here? They have clearly given the product of these two. This. Uh, this is x plus 2. Product of this and this. Right? Product x plus 2 into 27 minus x. How much it is equal to 210? So, it is equal to 210. Let us multiply this. So, we will get 
27x minus x square plus 54 minus 2x equal to 210. And if we simplify this, we will get um, this is uh, 27 and minus 2x that will be equal to 25x minus x square plus 54 is equal to 210. Now we'll shift the whole thing to the right side. So we will get x square minus 25x minus 54 plus 210 equal to 0. That will be x square minus 25x and if we simplify this, we will get uh, this will be equal to 156 plus 156 is equal to 0. And now we will write down what all given things for us from this equation. We have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 25, c is equal to 156. We will substitute these things in the equation or formula. So that is equal to x is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So x is equal to minus of minus 25 plus r minus square root of minus 25 whole square minus 4 into a is 1 and b is 150 uh, c is 156 divided by 2a. So 2 into 1 and we will substitute these things the uh, we will simplify these things here x is equal to x is equal to 25 plus r minus square root of 625 minus 4 into 156 that is 624 divided by 2. So that is x is equal to 25 plus r minus root 1 by 2 and x is equal to 25 plus 1 by 2 or x is equal to 25 minus 1 by 2. Now, if x is equal to, this is 25 by 2, 26 by 2, x is equal to 30 marks. So, mathematics marks is 30 or x is equal to 24 by 2. So, x is equal to 12. So, these are the two values of mathematics we have got. Now, we need to find out the value of English. If mathematics marks is 13, then English marks is how much? 30, 30 minus x, right? So, we will find out that this is equal to, that is x is equal to 13 or 12. So, this is mathematics. Therefore, English marks. English marks is, will be equal to 30 minus x. So, that is 30 minus 30 and it will be 17. English marks is 17. If it is 13 and now if it is 12, then what? So, English marks, so x, uh, sorry, 30 minus x, so that is equal to 30 minus 12, so that will be equal to 18. So, English marks is 18 if math marks is 12, so then it is 18, okay.